the blue poison dart frog from Suriname, South America, horned marsupial frogs from Panama, amphibians rescued from a deadly chytrid fungus by scientists in Atlanta. Atlanta Botanical Garden and Zoo Atlanta joined forces, went to Panama, talked with the government and said, look, this is what's going on here. We w we'd like to help. One way to help in a, in a situation where chytrid fungus has moved in is to remove animals for captive assurance colonies in hopes that at some point we could mitigate this fungal disease in the wild and have animals to restore. The chytrid fungus eats away keratin, a component of amphibian skin. This causes a disease named chytridiomycosis, which is fatal to adult amphibians. What we're facing is literally a situation where there's more species of endangered amphibians than there are of birds and mammals combined. Amphibian chytrid fungus gets in the skin and it reduces their ability to regulate their water balance and can kill them very quickly. In 2004, Atlanta scientists were able to identify the path of the spreading fungus and realized a pristine national park in central Panama was about to get hit. We knew for the first time in history when and where the fungus was going to strike next. At the time, there wasn't a facility in Panama to do this, so the animals were brought back here to Atlanta. And since then, several species have bred successfully. Crowgaster punctariolus is probably among the rarest frogs in the world. Uh, these were rescued from El Valle, Panama. Somewhere around 20, maybe two dozen of the species in Panama at the facility there and we have seven here in Atlanta. So this is, this is one of the success stories um, from the Panama Project in terms of species that have been successfully reared to captivity to the next generation and, and dispersed and distributed. Amphibians are considered the ecological canary in the coal mine because of their extreme sensitivity to the world around them. Uh, they're environmental indicators. Um, if something is wrong with the environment, the amphibians will suffer first. They have their double life, is what amphibian means, and they're living in aquatic situations as tadpoles. They're absorbing whatever's in the water. As adults, uh, they have very permeable skin, so they're absorbing any chemicals in the environment. The rise of infectious diseases like the chytrid fungus is a symptom of greater problems. Pollution, and global warming. The amphibians are telling us something. They're telling us that our world is badly out of balance because a precedent's being set for a mass extinction during our lifetime, and that's never happened before. Scientists are doing their best to save these unique species that face a threat confronting all of us. For Assignment Earth, I'm Gary Stryker.